I know you don't love each other. I see it in your eyes. The vacations keep getting more extravagant. It's because you're trying to reignite this flame. They go on these extreme vacations where they stay in these little glass igloos in Iceland and they, they go to all these beautiful places. The most extravagant vacation you take is going to be the one where one of you kills the other one in their sleep. We're going and we're going to go and we're going to, on camels, we're going to go across the Gobi Desert. And then we're going to look at the stars and that you just don't love each other anymore. We need every minute of the vacation to be planned for us. And we need to do a lot of excursions because if we don't have, if we're just sitting on a beach next to each other, we're going to have to talk to each other. And if that happens, it's going to go downhill quite quickly. So we need people to get us out of bed, roll us out of bed and put us on an excursion. And we need to go zip lining immediately because if I have to look at your face, I'm going to kill you. I see one, the gram. I'm not hating you. Yeah, I'm mad. No, it'll take me on one of those. Yeah, I'm mad. And I deserve to go to places that are ridiculous. I want a five-star hotel chain to take whatever natural beauty that's left on this planet, colonize it, and sell it to me. And a little twink who doesn't speak because he's deaf, dumb, and blind mute. And it's not rape. He consents via Braille. Yes, he needs me to open doors for him and turn on lights. If he leaves me, technically he will die, especially where we're going on vacation. We're going to a volcano. There's no arguments with a deaf, dumb mute, but he's not that dumb. It's not a retarded problem. I'm not saying I'm having sex with a retarded Okay, let's strike dumb. He's just deaf and mute, but he's very intelligent. He reads Braille books all day. He has a huge penis, and I want to go and stay in an igloo. Some poor sloth who now works for the Four Seasons comes and gives you your drinks. Some tortured elephant has to just... Just walk up and this majestic animal has to fill your face with food. He just takes an apple in his snout and gives it to you. Your Instagram vacations have to make me go, oh my God, I didn't even know you could do that. Their, their hotel room is on a melting glacier. It's so beautiful. And that's all people talk about, by the way, is their vacation. If you go out with young professionals, they talk about their vacations because their jobs are all too complex for them to get into because they're all fake or they're all inherently evil. So they can't really tell you about it. Yeah, well, we do, you know, it's like, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like LinkedIn for human traffickers, whatever. It's just a, <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a small business. It's business to business sales. It's an experimental, just kind of whatever. It doesn't matter. Traveling is so overrated. I do it every week. There's nothing to learn. The earth is dead. Start traveling to war-torn countries. Start traveling to cities that have collapsed, that are sacrifice zones. Start traveling to places where you fear for your safety. Go take a vacation to Flint, Michigan. Drink some water. You want me to listen to you at brunch? That's how you start a conversation. We went to Flint, Michigan last year. Me and Cliff, we went to Flint, Michigan for our honeymoon. And let me tell you right now, the water was the color of human shit. And I said to Cliff, what kind of resort is this? And it wasn't a resort. We were just staying in someone's house. It's like, oh my God, this is wild. We're learning so much about different cultures. Some cultures apparently don't need clean water. Me and John, we went to Yemen last year. So first of all, it's very interesting in Yemen. So they're doing, the Saudis are doing a genocide with a lot of the money and weapons that we provide them. And a lot of the kids in Yemen are so cute, but they're, their rib cages bulge out of their bodies. They look, it looks like xylophones. Remember you used to play xylophones in school and they have no food and they don't really have any clean water. It's really sad, but there's so much history. There's so much history. I just want, I want that. And I'll go, oh, you're really learning. At least own the vacation. Go, I want to go get drunk and have fun. That's why I love my Long Island friends. They go, I just want to drink somewhere warm. That's what people in Long Island say. And I, I just think that vacations should just be about excess. Go eat, go drink, go be a pig. You've earned it. And if you want to go learn, go live somewhere for six months. You know, nobody, nobody travels. I suggest that to people. I go, get out of here. Go to China. My friends, little brothers, sisters, get the fuck out of here. You're not learning anything taking a walking tour. Okay, of Madrid. We went to the Prado and there's there. Ah. Go move to Spain. Be a lazy drunk like that whole country is. They get it right. 
They just drink and lay around all day. They don't give a shit. The great Ray Kump went on one vacation in New Orleans with his mother. She took him three years ago. She flew him first class. And he left her and he went to his strip club. <laughs> That's how to live a life. <laughs> 